Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Whispering Willows. I do believe we are going to be completing this game. We're at the very last part, we just found Wardham Willows, and the fucker just pushed us out a window. So, we're not okay with that, and we're gonna go... I found a piece of what looks like to be a telescope, and I'm thinking telescope, observatory, conservatory, it's not even observatory. <laughs> well, my logic is not good. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this. I thought I saw a telescope, and I, I'm i thinking it was in here, but maybe I was wrong. We'll look. We'll go see. Maybe it, if it was in... Oh, you know what? It was the observatory. It was that stupid room. I know where it is. I know exactly where we need to go. Shit, son! I knew I saw a fucking telescope at some point. It's right up there. All right. I don't need my fucking amulet. I'll beat your ass with a telescope. All right, come on, Elena. Press A to attach the lens to the telescope. Press A to use the telescope. Press up and select stuff. Oh. I'm not entirely sure what just happened. Oh! We have to make that thing. Okay, so we want it to be like a... Yep. So it's got a line on the top. It goes down. It looks like a rectangle with like two lines coming out at the bottom. So. Yeah. Nope. Leave that. Yes. Oh, nope. Get rid of that one. Nope. Put that one back. No! Okay. That. Something just happened. We found a secret fucking passage! Look at me being all fucking clever and shit. I'm so proud. I'm gonna go beat Wardham Willows to death with my fucking fist. I don't need no demon shit. I don't need to leave my body. I'll use my body to fucking kill you. Again. You'll die a second time. I don't even care. Your racist old ass is going under. Alright. What are we doing? Crate. Mm. Just a solitary crate? What could it be for? Um, who knows? Oh! Shit! I hear- Oh god, it's on the ceiling. Okay, I do see- Ah! No! God damn it! That is lame! Ugh! Fine. We gotta be careful here. Oh, I see it. It's the steam. The steam helps you see it. Uh oh. How am I gonna get the letter, dude? <laughs> oh, you know what? We gotta go up on the ladder and crawl down. I get it. I get it, you guys. I get it. Okay. So, we can't rush. <laughs> this is gonna take me a second. Okay. So, he's gonna go by, and when he does... We're gonna have to be really fast. We're gonna have to be really fast. He's gonna drop down on me, so we gotta... Like this. Alright. John Elkhorn, six of nine. There's something here. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. It's like nothing I've ever felt. It causes a pit in my stomach. I can feel its presence. There's a certain magnetism to it that draws me in. I don't know where it is or where it comes from. I only know that it's deep inside the mansion. I'm going to try to find it. I can't shake the feeling that there's some profound truth lying at the bottom of it all and that I'm here for a reason. The question of what it is will burn inside me forever if I don't find out. Alright, well, we beat that part. That's all that matters. I'm smart. <laughs> Alright. Um. 
What are we going? Where are we going? Wait, wait, wait. Letter. Wardham Willows, 12 of 13. I am unsure what I have done. It feels as though portions of me being... Of my being have been ripped from me and recast as dark, shadowy demons. They roam the grounds, and I can feel their presence and see them as they scurry about like so many roaches. I do not think that anyone else can see them, as I am the only one who has flirted with the other side, and I have not come back unscathed. I have done what I can to bind and confine them, but I do not know how well it will work. I have seen things most men dare not, and I have I hold that clandestine knowledge all desire, life immortal. I do not yet... I do not yet have the means of enacting this longevity, but I know a way. You're such a fucked up old man. I'm fucking... We gotta fucking try and get back to my dad. I don't know how we're gonna help him without the fucking... Maybe all these people I helped move on will help me. Huh? Assholes? Harp. I wish I knew how to play a musical instrument. Maybe someday I'll... Oh, look at her. She's humming. That's so cute. Where's the piano guy when you need him? So we're definitely making our way. I'm hoping that we'll find our dad and not have to lose everyone. Something's scurrying again. Oh, it's rain. Okay. Coat rack. I couldn't leave dad's jacket there. Wait, pick up letter. John Elkhorn, seven of nine. I went deeper into the mansion to find the source of this mysterious power that's been calling out to me. I wanted to ignore it, but I just can't. It's on my mind even when I sleep. I've been having difficulty making my way through the mansion. There are so many doors that are locked or just plain blocked off. There's even a place where the ceiling collapsed. I've looked into it, but no blueprints for the building exist in the public records. I know I'll find my way. It's just going to take some time. I feel it in my gut. What was our dad? Oh, 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 How far are you going, dude? Alright, well, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, ladder. Is there a ladder over there, though? I gotta know. Oh well. Hold on. I know how- oh wait, I was gonna turn into a demon. <laughs> it's not a demon. She's not a demon. John Elkhorn, 8 of 9. I made it to the mansion's core. I don't know what I expected to find because all that was there was an empty room like the scores of others. I feel uncomfortable there, but other than that, I don't think it's special in any way. This pit still lingers in my stomach, though. It's a foreboding feeling that reminds me of some imagined looming punishment. I spent as much time in the room as I could looking for clues to what I was feeling, but there was nothing. Now I don't even know whether to abandon my search or not. I don't know. I feel so hopeless all of a sudden. I just want to see my family. Aw, sorry, Dad. Ah! I saw that motherfucker. Where is he? Holy shit. This is hard. Diary entry added. Weapon chemical creature. I know what these demons are now. They're pieces of Wardham's corrupt soul and they have minds of their own. He delved into areas he shouldn't have. He sought knowledge not meant for man's mind. What resulted is his fractured soul and these his most beloved children. I have to be careful around them. They act like Wardham's guard dogs and I can't let them catch me. They'd rip me to shreds if they did. Yeah, so let's not make, let's not let that happen. Pool table. I wish dad was here to play with me. Yeah, well, maybe we'll go fucking save his life, Elena. Let's go down the steps. We gotta find... Oh, there's like a picture over here. Oh, a letter! A letter! New note! My last, last note from Dad. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I've been losing portions of my days here at the mansion, and I don't know why. I feel at times like I'm being followed, and I hear whispers in my ear. But when I look, no one's there. The other day, I found myself inside the catacomb, staring at a door. I couldn't remember how I'd gotten there. The last thing I remember doing before 
that was trimming some hedges. I woke up here this morning. I'm not sure if I even made it home, but I must have. My memory is so hazy. I need to make sure to call home. I have to talk to my family. I don't know why, but I just have to. Dad, a knight in armor needs his weapon. We need to get him a sword. Oh good, the door is locked. Fine! Fuck you and your locked doors. Maybe it's locked because I need to find a sword. Um... I don't know. I can't exactly turn invisible. Ooh, 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 give me that! Um... Ha ha ha! Boom! Okay, there's another one. Okay. How do we do this one? It must be down like the picture on the wall. Like the other one was. Hold on. All the way down. Wait, wouldn't it be straight up if the painting's upside down? Ha 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 ha! Oh good, a mace. Oh. The painting was upside down. I should have known. I should have known! And yet I did not. Alright, I got you your mace. You're gonna hold it like the guy with the gun. Ha 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 ha. I did it, because I'm fucking smart. That's right. Wardham Willows 13 to 13. This may be our very last letter. The time has come. I have prepared my estate to survive when I am gone, and so it shall. For generations to come, all locals will know my name. I am the founder of this town, and I am not done with it yet. Immortality is within my grasp. I have simply to reach out and take it. After that, time will mean nothing to me, as I continue to search within the ether for a way to see my Martha. In the end, I shall get what I desire, I always do. And I all I need now is a suitable host. In my youth, I aimed to wipe out the Quantaco, but I am happy to say I failed in my endeavors. One day, a descendant of that foolish shaman will happen upon these grounds. When that day comes, I will know my salvation. I shall be the spider and he the fly. I'll wring from him the power in his blood and absorb what I will. My time will come soon enough. I am beyond the laws of this mortal coil, and neither man nor woman will stop me. How about a little girl? Statue of Wardham Willows. If I was rich, I'd have a statue of me in my house, too. Alright. Let's do it! Let's go kick his ass! Where are we? This looks a little familiar. We must have made it back to where we were before. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. We want to go up. I remember this. He's up here. I remember you. Diary entry, the other side. This is it. Wardham and my dad are on the other side of this door. I can feel it, but I'm done being scared. Now is the time for strength. My dad needs me, and I'm not going to let him down this time. I don't care what I have to go through. He's my father, and I won't let anyone take him away from me, no matter what. Wardham, I hope you're as ready for me as I am for you. Let's go kick his ass, Elena. Here we go. Hopefully we can actually kick his ass. You made it back without your amulet even, but you are too late. You cannot stop me. Wanna bet, bitch? I don't care what you say. I'll save my dad no matter what. Foolish child, I shall feed you a taste of my misery. See the past and know my pain. Wardham Willows, you don't understand. She meant everything to me. She was the mother of my son, my life's love. And you, you just remind me of her and how I betray her each moment we're together. That's Fleur. Please, Wardham, please, I love you. Don't do this. 
I can't do it anymore. I won't. I won't disgrace her any longer. So he killed Fleur. Oh goodness. Why would you stand there? Why would you watch this? Oh god. He fucking killed- he killed her! What a fucking piece of trash. You're garbage. You're fucking garbage. You don't understand. She meant everything to me. She was the mother of my son, my life's love. Okay, so this is like happening again. This is the same exact thing. How do I- I have to take the knife. What did that do? Please, Wardham, I must tell you something. I am with child. It's yours, Wardham. We are to have a family together. Uh-oh. That kind of changed shit up. Yeah, you learned that? You fucking killed your kid. What? No, no, this can't be. She was pregnant? No. What have I done? Martha only ever wanted my happiness. We could have had that. What have I done? It doesn't matter. I was doomed from the start. See more of my life's horror. I don't want to look at your racist old ass fucking... I don't even care what you did. I kind of read. I read all the letters and read about all the bullshit you caused. So that was Darby, I bet you. Darby O'Halloran. I thank ye kindly for having me over for drinks, Wardham. We haven't socialized in ages. High time, I'd say. But of course, old friend. It has indeed been too long, and you've been dearly missed. I have watched your troubles grow. Aye, that they have. And I've missed ye too, Wardham. We will have to meet more regularly here on out. We certainly will, Darby. One final drink to ease your pain. You're the best friend a man could ask for, Lord Ham. Except you fucking got poisoned. Shit, son. So yeah, he killed Darby because he's a piece of trash. So now what do I do? I gotta take the drink. We're literally watching everything happen again and then we're like changing what happened. Alright. For God's sake, Darby, you drunk. Show some class, man. Just look at you, the state you're in. I've observed your degradation these past months with distaste. You're right, me friend. You always are. You, you've been good to me, and here I've disgraced myself. I know well enough the burden I am. Burden, eh? A fine word, that. If I'd known you'd turn out this way, I'd, kn I'd know not what to think anymore. I know I haven't been myself lately. I had it planned to take me life this evening while you slept, but your invitation, Wartham, it, it gave me hope, you see. Your invitation. I have not told you, Wartham, but that wee girl I killed, she haunts me. Twas just dreams starting out, but not, not but any more I see her in the walking hours. That's it's then I feel the hellfire licking at me haunches. My cooking shim reeks of brimstone, friend. I can hear perdition as it sings to me in the night. Poor Darby. I mean, I, he's still not a good person, but he's still, like, I kind of feel bad for him. What do you want, Wardham? Why? Why did I do these things? He didn't have to die. My poor Darby. When did I fall so far from grace? It was that damned shaman who tricked me with his vile necromancy. Your ancestor! Know what your kind has done to me. He's, like, blaming everyone else for his fucking problems. Oh, that's... Is what you say to you? That's Flying Hawk! You can help me see my wife again? 
Yes, but your spirit must be scored. Are you scored? Your spirit must be first be scored. Are you prepared for this? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Tell me what to do, medicine man. You must serve your earthly tie. Sever your earthly ties. You must let go of all your wife's memory. Of your wife's memory. Only then will you be able to see her, her again. I'm really having trouble reading today. These candles will protect us from the darkness. So they just left their fucking bodies. What the hell is that? Shit. Shit. That's Martha. That's Martha. Hell no. Get Martha away from me! Martha's a demon! I don't like Martha. Uh oh. That's where he strangled him to death, but he was like, he was out of his body, remember? We read that in the note. Then he died. That was sad. Alright, now we reenact it. And I fucking fix all this shit. Here we go. Bam! You have blah 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 blah. Hi, I want to be your friend. I want to see my dead demon wife. That's stupid. Here you go. <laughs> so what do I do here? When can I play? Let me play. That's the demon. That's Martha. That's Martha. We have to stop Martha. We have to stop Martha. Can't let Martha... She's the one who put the candles out. Alright, I'm gonna light those things again. Hey, Martha. Go fuck yourself. That's right. Martha Willows. Wardham, I'm here, Wardham. Martha, oh how I've missed you, my love. Life is too hard without you. How can I continue on? I will be here for you always, Wardham. Now that you know how, you can see me whenever life seems too difficult for you. Live your life right and raise our son well. Goodbye for now, my love. I love you, Martha, now and forever. Well, even the old racist man gets closure. Fucking fantastic. You have helped me see things more clearly, Elena, to see the error of my ways. I only hope it is not too late for me. I shall finally see what the afterlife holds. Goodbye, Elena. Well, that was easy. I just, like, lit some candles. May it shit smell good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Martha was putting the candles out because she didn't want to fucking talk to your racist old ass. Bye, Wardham. May your soul rest in peace. Elena? Dad, you're awake. Yeah, what? what's happened? What are you doing here? It's a long story, Dad, but don't worry. I'll tell you all about it on the way home. There's the mansion. Oh, and we got our dad! And he's not even dead. And I got my little amulet. Why am I not wearing it? Why is it in my pocket? Just put it around your neck. You're gonna lose it. It's literally hanging out. Oh, good! The demons have repossessed it. I can now leave my goddamn body once again. Fantastic! Oh my gosh, so we beat it. Well, I, I, we kind of could tell that that was the end. Uh, my thoughts on that game, very interesting. The story I thought was good. I loved the backstory and the letters and the way that it led up to it, how you find the letters throughout the game. Very, very clever. I thought um, the ending was good. This game isn't really the type of game I would usually play, but I enjoyed playing it. So I'm, I'm glad I gave it a shot and I'm glad I got to play it. So that was Whispering Willows. I purchased this on the Xbox One. I do believe it was on sale at some point. Um, very fun game. I recommend trying it out for yourselves. I missed quite a few achievements, I know, throughout the game, but I do believe we got all of the, uh, all of the different pages and stuff, so 
there's that. We collected a lot of stuff throughout this game. So if you have any recommendations for other games you want me to play and try out, go ahead and post comments. You know, just send me a message. Communicate with me on what you want to see me play. I love trying different games. I had fun playing this. I really did. And I love story-driven games, and this was definitely one of those. So, on to the next game. <laughs> Happy watching, guys. Bye! Hey, uh, Chell, please don't burn. This is gonna be like the other levels. It's really long. I'm already getting anxious. God damn it. Fuck. All right, come on, Chell. Come on, baby. Oh God, this is grass. They want us to run through the grass. It's gonna start on fire. We're gonna have to make a run. We're gonna have to run through this and it's gonna start on fire. We're gonna have to run and she's gonna fucking be running from fire. Come on, Chell. Come on, babies. We can make it. 